Networks. What is a network? A network refers to a collection of interconnected devices or systems that can communicate and share resources with each other. Networks typically consist of computers, servers, routers, and other devices that are connected to each other, either physically, using cables, or wirelessly, using Wi-Fi or other wireless technologies. The purpose of a network is to facilitate communication and the exchange of data between devices. By connecting devices together, users can share information and communicate with each other, whether it's within a local area, such as a home or office network, or over a wide geographical area, such as the internet. There are many moving parts to a network, and what follows detail them fairly simply, but with enough depth that you can understand what they do and why they are important. Web browser. A web browser is a software application that enables users to access and view websites on the internet. It acts as a client that receives data. This client has the job of showing this data to the user. In this case, the client is the browser, and it communicates with web servers using protocols like HTTP and HTTPS. Web servers are computers that host websites and serve or give the requested web pages to the browser over the internet. The server sends the web page content, typically written in HTML, hypertext markup language, to the browser. Web browsers then interpret HTML and other web technologies, such as CSS, cascading style sheets, and JavaScript, to render, calculate, and display web pages properly. They display media elements like images, videos, and interactive content, while providing a user-friendly interface for navigation. Some popular web browsers include Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Safari. URL, Uniform Resource Locator. A URL is the address used to locate a resource on the internet. Take a look at this example to understand the different parts of a URL. DNS, Domain Name System. DNS is a system that translates domain names into IP addresses. It acts as a phone book of the internet, enabling users to access websites using human-readable domain names instead of remembering IP addresses. When you enter a domain name in a web browser, DNS resolves or translates it to the corresponding IP address allowing your browser to establish a connection with the web server. IP addresses. IP addresses uniquely identify devices on a network and enable communication between them. They consist of two parts, the network portion and the host portion. In an IP address, a portion of the bits represent the network address, while the remaining bits represent the host address. The network address identifies the specific network to which the device belongs, while the host address identifies the individual device within that network. Additionally, IP addresses can be private, used within a local network, or public, routable on the internet. Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol TCP IP is a suite of protocols that enables communication between devices over the internet. A protocol refers to a set of rules and guidelines that define how data is transmitted, formatted, and exchanged between devices or systems. It establishes a standard method of communication to ensure compatibility and reliable data transfer. It provides the foundation for data transmission and routing. TCP ensures reliable and ordered delivery of data packets, 
while IP handles the addressing and routing of these packets across different ne networks. Protocols HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, are both protocols used for communication between web browsers, clients, and web service. These protocols operate on top of the Transmission Control Protocol IP protocol suite. In addition to HTTP, there are various other protocols that govern different aspects of network communication. For example, FTP, File Transfer Protocol, is used for transfer transferring files between devices. SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, for email transmission and SSH, Secure Shell, for secure remote access to systems. Each protocol serves a specific purpose and operates on top of the underlying TCP IP stack. LAN and WAN A LAN, Local Area Network, is a network that connects devices within a limited geographical area, such as a home, office, or school. LANs typically use technologies like Ethernet and Wi-Fi for local communication. In contrast, a WAN, Wide Area Network, spans larger distances and connects multiple LANs together, often using public infrastructure like the Internet. Routing and Routers Routing involves the process of forwarding data between different networks. Routers are devices that connect multiple networks and determine the best path for data transmission. They examine destination IP addresses, making routing decisions based on routing tables, and forward packets accordingly. Routers play a crucial role in directing network traffic efficiently. Thank you for listening. The slides for this presentation are available for download so you can read them if you need to. Until next time.